great to have you back here on Just Nigeria, the show for today's social media generation, brought to you by the BBC and Channels TV. I am Wally Fakile. Thanks a lot for staying with us. Coming up, we'll check out the entrepreneur using theatrical exercises and practices to teach core soft skills. But before we take that story, after four months of closure, South Africa's fitness industry is breathing a sigh of relief after they were allowed to reopen. The industry employs over 24,000 people and has been reeling as revenue dried up. Umani Mkize has been finding out how gyms are coping and those that work in the sector are finding creative ways to make a living. As a fitness fanatic, the closure of gyms due to the coronavirus pandemic has hit me really hard. Pumping iron at my favorite gym had become a daily activity. In fact, it was part of my lifestyle. But as we know, the virus spreads quickly in enclosed areas. So for now, working out from home has become my new normal. At the weekend, President Cyril Ramaphosa announced the country will be moving to level two of lockdown regulations, meaning gyms and fitness centers will be allowed to reopen. Virgin Active, South Africa's largest gym chain, says it's put in place stringent health and safety measures and will advise members when it's ready to reopen. We have reorganized the space. We have built new apps that indicate how full the clubs are. We have introduced extensive forms of hygiene. Uh, we have a full 100% um, air exchange throughout the club every six to nine minutes, um, whilst giving our members the opportunity to choose if they want to come back or not. Prior to lockdown, South Africa's gyms raked in over $900 million in annual revenue. Health and fitness was a growing trend, but since March, the industry has been at a standstill. Those most affected have been personal trainers. Their income is heavily reliant on face-to-face -face classes, and even though some are using online platforms, it's still a difficult adjustment. One five on its side. Okay, Betty. We are just adapting with the environment because there's nothing that we can do. So, but it's, 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 it's not easy. I think if like they can open the gyms and then we can go back to the gyms and then just like for the sake of our finances and everything and our clients. I can say no, we're adapting, but yeah, it's tough. Hey, Dumi. We first met Dumi Parker two years ago where he spoke about how he's disrupting the gym industry by taking the established players head on. But since then, a lot has changed. While his 30 gyms were closed, he came up with a creative way of keeping people fit. For Dumi, if you can't come to the gym, he'll bring the gym to you. We don't even know when this uh, you know, lockdown or COVID uh, is over, is that you know, how many people will still come back to work or if people have the options to work from home. And so that literally created a whole new business for us to provide convenience for people to train from home. We find that you, know, you could actually be more profitable and be a bigger business than you know, you've tapped into uh, un un untapped territory. And so yeah, for me, that's what entrepreneurship is and, and that's what gets me excited every day. While gyms have been given the green light to operate again, it'll still take some time before we see people flocking back. It seems home workouts will be with us for much longer still. Music